Hello, everyone, and welcome to our video tutorial with Alexander Hamilton Memorial Free Library. This tutorial is all about setting up an account for Hoopla Digital and accessing Hoopla and borrowing resources. So Hoopla, before we get started, Hoopla is a great resource that we have available with your library card through the library. It is totally free with your card and it has ebooks, audiobooks, TV shows, movies, music, comics, all kinds of stuff. And my favorite part is there are no wait lists. So everything is available anytime. So it is a great resource to use. And if you are not familiar with it, the first place you can go to get your account set up is the library's homepage. So we are at ahmfl.org. This is the Alexander Hamilton Memorial Free Library homepage. All right, this is what our homepage looks like. We have lots of great information here about different new books that we have, programs that are happening, how you can support the library. But I'm going to go back to the top and look at this main menu. Right, pointing out some things really quickly. We have our programs tab that has a calendar of online programs that we're offering currently. We have free resources, which are all internet-based databases and other information sources, all again, free with your library card. We also down here have our adult makerspace teen and children pages. These are all interest groups that have lots of information for those specific audiences. And like I said, what we're going to be doing today requires your library card. If you don't have a library card or if your library card is expired, you can actually request a digital library card that is temporary while the library is closed. So you can do that clicking on our request a card tab. All right, and we do have a video tutorial showing how you can do that to apply for a temporary card. But we're gonna go back over to the left, we have two tabs that we're going to look at today. First is our catalogs tab. All right, and for catalogs, you can see we actually have four options. The first and the last are two physical catalogs. So those aren't going to be what we're working about on today. All right, another one, another option that we have is our ebook overdrive catalog. This is another fantastic resource for ebooks and audiobooks that we have a separate video tutorial on signing up and using. Today, like I said, we are going to be using ebook Hoopla. Right, this is Hoopla Digital. And so to set up your account, you can do it through our website, on your computer or your smart device. I will say that when you're using your Hoopla account, you can use it through the Hoopla website, which this link will take you to directly on this page. Oh, and then um, we'll just go ahead and clean that out. That was from before. Um, it'll take you to the hoopladigital.com website. All right. And if you are using Hoopla with your smart device, so a phone or a tablet, you will need to download the Hoopla digital app. All right. But we are going to go ahead and get started. So before you put in an email and a password, if you don't have an account, we're going to click get started today. If you have already set Hoopla up, all you'll have to do is an email address and your password. But we're going to click set Hoopla up today or get started. So we're going to put in our information. So I'm going to be using, and sorry about my typing, I'm going to be using a staff email address that we have here at the library. And this email you'll actually find in our description section um, because it is one that you can contact if you have any questions or would like any assistance. So I made a password. It needs to be between eight and 40 characters. I right, make sure that you know the terms and conditions and the privacy policy. All right. When you are completely ready, we wrote our email address twice. We wrote our password and make sure it's the same, confirm twice. Oh, I guess I did not make mine long enough. I should have been counting. So make sure that it's between eight and 40 characters. All right, now you may have the option to save. All right, next we're going to search for the library name. Now mine was very polite and offered me a suggestion of what I'm looking for. If yours doesn't offer a suggestion, if you have location set on your computer, it will hopefully bring up your 
closest libraries, which will probably be us. If not, you can always type in our name here at the top. We are Alexander Hamilton and we're under Public Library for Hoopla. Our name is very long, it's true. So we'll go ahead and click on that and then scroll down. All right, and so if you do have other library cards for other libraries, you can check and see if they have Hoopla as well. Here is where I'm going to type in my library card number. Now this is not a real library card. I made this one as a test card, but you will type in your card number. If that, you can find that if you have a physical card with us, it'll be the number under your barcode on your library card. If you do not have a card with us, if you're using one of our digital cards, that's the number that the librarian sent you in the email to check out materials. So we'll go ahead and sign up. All right, we'll wait for that to load. And then it should take us right into the Hoopla digital homepage. And we'll just wait for a couple seconds for that to load. Um, while we're waiting for that to load, I'll go ahead and tell you again about some of the things that you should be able to find. Um, we there are ebooks, audiobooks, movies, um, TV shows, comics, and the only limitation on Hoopla is that you can only check out a certain number each month. All right, and since this is not loading, I'm actually going to go ahead and go back to our homepage. I'll go to ebooks, click Hoopla, and then we are logged in. All right, so here is our Hoopla homepage. So if yours does what mine did and it just kind of times out, go back to our homepage or restart the app and then go in. Now mine did save the password, so it automatically logged me in. All right. If yours didn't, you'll just need to put your email address and that password. So remember mine was staff and then I put my password that was now long enough. You can enter yours at the top and then it'll log you in. All right. Then what you'll see is your Hoopla dashboard. All right. So it looks like we can borrow four titles a month with Hoopla, and there are lots and lots of different kinds of titles. So we have Alexander Hamilton Public Library at the top. You can go through my Hoopla, see what's on your account. All right, you can do, if you're currently borrowing something, you can look at what you've already borrowed. You can also browse. So browsing at the top, there are different options. Like I said, there's all kinds of different stuff. You can filter what you're looking for. You can also filter things by going, to this everything tab, click on it, and then you can look for specific things. Another really great feature that I wanted to point out for any families is if you're using Hoopla and you're looking at specifically for kids items, you can go over here to the side and click kids. All right, so this is a special kind of Hoopla, a special mode that limits your searches to kids and kid appropriate or kid friendly materials. So for our search, I'm gonna leave it on kids today. I'll leave it on everything. Ah, and we have a suggestion of Easter. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do Earth Day because Earth Day is coming up soon. So now when I click on this, we have Earth Day and 124 titles just with that um, keyword. So like I said, there are tons of materials on here. You can scroll through and see what you'd like. Something to take note of, a lot of them will have this little book icon and say ebook. That means that you can read them. They are an ebook that'll show up on your screen. Um, something else to look for here, you can see this one has music. This one's a comic. There are also headphones for audiobooks. We've got a video camera for TV. But I saw a book that I think looks interesting. I'm going to go on over here and who doesn't love Fancy Nancy? So I'm going to click on the book that I want to borrow. It'll bring up a preview of the book. So it'll have a little bit of information. This is actually a lot of kids' books are read-alongs, which means that they have a recorded narration, which is pretty cool. All right, whatever material you're looking to borrow, it doesn't matter if it's a kids' book, an adult book, an audio book, songs, TV, you're just going to find the borrow button. Right, so here it is under the picture of the item. I'll click borrow. It asks if I want to borrow it. You can borrow items for 21 days at a time. You can return them whenever you're done, but that limit still stands on how many items you're allowed to check out during the month. And that's just because of licensing issues. 
So if I'm sure that I want Fancy Nancy, I'll go ahead and click Borrow Title. And now we have Hoopla. All right, so it's telling me about Hoopla Kids. All right, I borrowed the title, and now you can see the button underneath the book has changed from Borrow to Read. All right, there's also a button at the bottom that has returned now. So if I decided I didn't want this and I didn't want it on my account and I didn't want to see it in my dashboard, then I could just get rid of it. All right, but we're going to go over here to read and then it'll go ahead and set up the book. And if you're in your phone or tablet, you can actually use your finger to swipe. Since we are on a laptop, um, I'm going to use, I can use the right arrow button to read through, oh, or <laughs> and let's pause that narration, um, or you can use the arrows on the side. Like I said, a lot of the kids' books actually are read-alouds, so they'll have that narration starting automatically. Right. But again, this is using our digital resource Hoopla Digital. All right, and if I go back to Hoopla at the top, so I can go to my Hoopla currently borrowed, all right, or you can just click. Hoopla in the top corner, it'll take you back to your dashboard and you can see I have one title out. I can borrow three more this month and that will reset each month. Right. And I can access it right through here. So we hope that this tutorial was helpful. Right. If you have any questions, please do feel free to contact us via email or comment on our social media. We are here and happy to help. We want to make sure that you are able to find the resources that you're looking for. So again, this is a tutorial for Hoopla Digital, a great um, application to use on your computer, on your smart devices to find books and a whole lot more. We hope that you use this well and have good reading.